my channel so today I'm gonna be doing this look for you guys it's very soft it's perfect for proms weddings baptisms so if you guys want to see how I achieve this look stay tuned and keep on watching I love coffee all right, so the palette that we're going to be using today is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. It looks like this. Don't mind it. Okay, and the first color that we're going to go in is with the burnt orange. This one, as you guys can see, it's very well beat up. But it's one of my favorite transitioning colors. And it blends really, really good. I'm just going to dab in circular motions. Second color we're gonna use is this brown right here. And you wanna try to blend right here inside the crease. Taking another round brush, I'm just gonna go where I see harsh lines and I'm gonna blend everything together. You guys can just always build up your product and go as far as you want and until you're satisfied, but since I'm already satisfied to that color because I don't want my look to be very, very dramatic today, um, I'm just going to stop there. I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease. And the concealer that I'm going to use today to cut my crease is this one from the Tarte Cosmetics. And it's in the shade Light Sand. This one was actually one of my favorite ones, but I ran out. It lasted me quite a while, but, but it is a little bit pricey. So I was like, mm-mm. So whenever I found the LA Girl Cosmetic ones, um, those actually worked really, really good too. And they're a lot, a lot cheaper. So I'm just going to stick to those for now until I could afford another one of these. But it's really, really good. If you guys can afford it, I recommend it. Alright, so I'm going to cut my crease. Tengo la ventana abierta and it smells so good. It smells como cuando llegas a México, you know, you guys know, you know that smell like that. That leña smell like como que están quemando leña. Oh, it smells so good. I have my window open. Whenever you guys do conceal your lid, try not to put a lot of concealer because it make everything crack and it's going to be a lot harder for you guys to blend out whatever product you guys are going to put on top of the concealer. You guys, and whenever you guys cut the crease, just always remember you guys are never, never going to have, I mean, unless you're like really, really perfect, but you guys are always going to have one that's not as even as the other one. There's always going to be something wrong, always, something little, like you're, like other people aren't going to be able to tell, like it's just going to be you and you're always going to have that, but just don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm just going to set my concealer. I normally don't set it anymore, but since I'm just going to put glitter, it doesn't even matter. So what I'm going to put first before I put my glitter on, it's going to be this one, the Cover Fix Shimmer Glitter. Looks like this. Alright, so I'm just going to put it wherever I put concealer at. Okay, before I go in and put the glitter, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner just because it's easier. Alright, the eyeliner that I'm using is this one. It's from the Anastasia. But I did purchase this at the Bulga, so I think it's a dupe one. But guys, this one really, really works. Like, and it was cheap. I think it was like $5. To set my glitter, I'm going to go in with the lash glue. Looks like this, and it's clear. It's from the Wet n Wild. I usually go in with my clear brow gel, but I'm, I'm already running low, so I'll just save it for my brows. Because my brows are more important. You 
you don't want to take the whole glue and just put it all over your lid because the glue is going to dry really really fast so just go in and set it little by little and then just add your glitter and then add more glue and then go back with the glitter and just little baby steps you guys and this look is really really easy to achieve all you guys have to use is two colors the burnt orange and then the dark one and then after that you'll just cut the crease and then add the glue and then add the glitter it's really really easy do this for prom it looks really nice and it's not even hard you guys can't even do it on yourself and you guys wouldn't have to worry about finding a makeup artist going in with my primer all over just so i can cancel that red out so now my foundation if you guys want to see how I hydrate my face in the morning and then at night, um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I'll record a video. The concealers that I use today are these, as always, and it's in the shade Porcelain and Yellow. And I always like to go in with the yellow first just because I want this to be more highlighted in the outer corner. And then I'm just going to take my sponge and blend it. As always, setting up my RCMA towel. All right, so I'm just dusting it all. All right, mud. Now I'm just gonna contour with my bronzer. All right, where I have been baking is right here under my cheekbone. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyelashes while I'm baking. So while we let the glitter, the glitter, the glue. Get a little tacky, I'm gonna take this off. Time to highlight. Según yo me bañé, like bien temprano, me levanté bien temprano, before anybody was awake, y me metí a bañar, just so I can be ahead, so I can start my videos. Because my daughter, like, no me deja, it's really, really hard to do my own YouTube videos or, like, do anything, like, with my daughter. Because she says que ella también quiere ser una, una makeup artist. So she's like always here trying to grab my stuff. You guys can't really tell, but I went in and put a little bit of the dark brown from the palette just under my waterline. And then I went with the burnt orange at the bottom and then just blended everything together. It's from Beauty Creations and it's in the shade Naughty. Alright beauties, well don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!